Why, hello there. It is I, Jiminy Cricket. And I wish to say that it feels come guzzling swell. Yes, that's right, swell to come out of the closet. After so many years of Disney oppression. You see, that son of a bastard Walter Disney hated homosexuals, Jews, black people, and all other ethnic groups. In the time of Great World Wars it was hard to find a job anywhere but luckily with the help of my old homosexual funk buddy Lou Sour Dick Pickles. He helped me get a job in the Disney classic Pinocchio. I remember going to apply for the movie and Lou had told me that Walter Disney hated faggots so... I was really scared and I had to pretend I was straight. The audition went swell. Oh, I had to read a few lines from the script in front of Walt Cop Block Disney and some other people whose names slipped my mind. I was acting out the parts and was really lost in the moment of the scene and while I looked at the script for my next line and I saw the word swell and I froze up inside and I thought I was done for. I thought time had stopped I was so scared and I kept thinking they put that word in the script to catch faggots and then force them into straight labor camps point so I took a dive and said it. Swell and that was it. They clapped for me. And said all kinds of wonderful shit and they said I got the part. I made a lot of money from the film but there were not always great times. See sometimes I would break down and cry because after days of filming Walt Disney would break in sluts from the Playboy Mansion and there would be crazy orgies and parties and I was once held at gunpoint to eat this bitch's hairy pussy and like nowadays, where the women have shaved pussies and look like landing strips so I am not sure how I know that but anyway so I did and once I finished I ran into my trailer and cried and cried for hours then. My door opened and Pinocchio came and sat down and talked to me. We talked about women and he asked me what I liked to do to women and I had to choice but to lie, because I did not want to die or worse eat another pussy. So we bullshitted and I asked him if he liked to give mustache rides to the girls and he said yes and his nose grew and kept growing until we looked at each other in the eyes and well there what followed sounded something like this ha <laughs> stick your long nose in my tiny asshole <laughs> too bad you are not a real boy <laughs> I will have splinters in my asshole after this I am sure <laughs> But even though you are not a real boy, the point is that I still have some wood in me. <laughs> the greatest line in the film Pinocchio is when I said swell. <laughs> when you wish upon a star, it makes your penis grow as big as Drew Pickles' penis. <laughs> the bag G that last swell. Well my sexy faggots that is all for now goodbye.